everybody like and strife here at Drift Wolf Gaming. We're playing Car X Drift Racing Online on the PlayStation 5. And this is the fastest way to grind some XP for your leveling up. As you can see in the top right corner, I'm level 23. Uh, as of right now, I have 718,400 XP and we need to get to 830,000 to reach level 24 so I can unlock all the single player levels to drift in. So that's what I've been trying to do right now for the last one or two days. And I apologize if it doesn't go in one go, uh, if I can't make it in one try. But what you need to do is you need to go to Tandem Drift, which I'll show to you guys in a couple when I've made the whole statement here regarding the XP's. And then just follow yourself in the single corner uh, on configuration 3. So here we go. This is parking, tandem drift, configuration 3. You just have to um, pick a car, put down a uh, nice initiation, go through the square. Keep your uh, steering wheel locked at all times, so don't make any corrections. Just hammer on the gas. And then uh, that's a 93. I don't think that's going to be enough because you have to actually score above 95 as far as I know to get the most XP. But we're going to showcase this anyway. And then I'll try to do another one. So now I'm going to chase myself. Which is something that you have to do. Get close. Okay, that's reasonable. It's not the best that I've had, but you know. 96. So now if we go to results, there you go. We got 6,031 XP. So um, when a chaser gets, I think you have to be above around a certain threshold regarding points. So we're going to do another run. Um, if you keep doing this, you can, you can just press restart as I did just now. Pick your car, start doing it again. And that's how you can get this 6,000 plus XP every single time. If you manage to pull this off, uh, I, I can't do it every single time. It's just about the square and the, uh, the angle that you throw in and the speed that you use. As far as I know, it has to be pretty on par. 95, there you go, not that bad. So now we're going to pick the same car again. You can pick another car if you want as well, it doesn't really matter. follow myself oh shit bad initiation but at least this way we can stay close I hope this is probably not gonna be oh not gonna be enough though and it's a 95.65 not that bad and boom there you go 6033 XP so you just keep doing this and your XP will go up pretty quick because if you do a normal lap um, of drifting on a specific track you only get like a couple of hundred XP which is pretty stupid if you ask me you can handbrake if you want that's no problem as long as you keep your steering wheel dialed in and your speed a little bit constant uh, you know foot brake or handbrake is not a problem at all it's about the uh, the steering wheel being locked in um, if you let go of the steering wheel or you go a little bit upwards with your steering wheel you know to make it a little bit more faint uh, you're going to get a correction and it's going to be uh, less good of a point or a total score for that. So we're going to press continue again. Choose the same car. Follow and see if we can get the same score or higher. wobbled a little bit with the steering wheel I think you're allowed to do just a tiny bit but it's very difficult there you go 97 so we're gonna watch the replay real quick fast forward until the launch there we go. wasn't a great initiation uh, actually I think I got very close here on the uh, switch um, which we can see in photo mode oh I'm actually in the bumper which is pretty cool um, there's a little bit of margin of error in this game um, you can hit probably the bash bar, but if you hit like the, the back bumper of somebody like I'm doing right here, it's not going to penalize you for having contact. Uh, there's actually uh, also when you ram somebody very hard, it's collision and you have to restart or it's just over. But um, a small little tap is contact, which says contact in the screen with orange letters or red. I don't remember. 
and uh, that's not really that bad. Um, so we can just continue the camera. It's actually nice. Pause. Look how close we are. Not that close. Closer there, I think. Uh, not that bad. A meter or something in between. And then over the finish line. Yeah, pretty decent. Um, in unison, pretty much. So that's nice. So I'm going to back out and we're going to press the circle button for result. And there you go, 6032 XP. As long as you get like above the 94, 95 region regarding leader or chaser, and you have a total cumulative score of about like 190 or something like that, you should be good and have 6032 XP. So if I press the start button now, you can see that it's going a lot faster on the top left corner, the 736,000, which is nice. So I'm going to back out real quick. And I can show you guys and gals how this, uh, how you choose this in the uh, in the main menu. So you have everything here: single player, multiplayer. You just go single player, tandem drift. Go to parking A, configuration three. Um, as you can see, the best that I've had leading is a 99.54. I was pretty proud of that because it was almost 100%. So that's really freaking cool. And even the chase was a 98.40. So it's not that bad, actually. So we're going to choose that. I actually want to do a shout out to my friends as well after this game. Uh, you should really try this, not only for grinding the XP, but also for just practicing your, uh, your proximity, which is really cool to do. All right, 94, not that bad. Could do better, but let's chase. See, contact, there you go. That's why I did the handbrake. So it's orange letter saying contact. Yet, I still get a 96.40 because I had uh, close proximity and uh, it was actually a decent run regarding the chaser because the lead run was also pretty good. People always seem to mistake uh, drifting um, regarding crashes and stuff like that. Again, the lead car is always the car who has the most leeway to do whatever he wants. The chase car always has to watch out for the lead car. doesn't matter if he just brakes, checks you or whatever. Uh, you always have to be careful with following. You have to anticipate movement and stuff like that. That's why I love drifting so much. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, really close here. Really, really close. That's just amazing about this whole sport and the, um, you know, everything else. Uh, this is actually a message to the, um, to the makers of the game. Maybe you can make a button where we can uh, release the UI, the user interface. Because I can press the X button to share, but um, for me it's still uh, recording uh, my video right now. If I press X button, it should make a screenshot, but it's not doing that. So it's probably only for PlayStation 4 or something, or maybe the PC where it works, but it, it doesn't work here, um, which is stupid. But yeah, this has been my uh, little uh, explanation video regarding what you have to do to get the, uh, the most XP. Again, there you go, 6039. Just go to Tandem Drift and then Parking A, use Config 3, and you're off to the races. And just, uh, you know, put, a, uh, put it down a good lead run and a good chase run, and you'll have more than 6,000 XP. And um, before you know it, you'll be a high level. I'm level 23. We're past halfway. So I think I need to do like 10 more of these, and then I can go into Drift, which is single player again. And then I can buy the, uh, the East 2 game map, which is level 24. Um, and then with the flanker, this is the BMW that I've chosen. But if I go to the, um, the flanker, which is one of my favorite cars. Um, I already have a lot of cars. I'm trying to get the, the class 5 cars all bought. Um, this is the flanker. I just tuned it to ultimate and did something with the wheels and stuff like that. 
Um, if I go to, oh, hang on. If I go to drift, as you can see, every single level is gold, except this mofo right here, East 2 gay, which is where we're saving up the, the XP points to unlock that. That's gonna be the last one uh, for me with the flanker. And then we'll probably also have the trophy, which I think is a trophy called, uh, or where you have to have one car beat all the levels on gold. So yeah, that's something we can do. And all the silver and the bronze trophies that you see are from cars that I used in the beginning. I didn't tune, so I have to uh, get those away as well. But you know, we're gonna wait and see how everything goes. So yeah, this has been my instructional video about how to get the most XP the fastest way. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about all of this. Peace and take care.